this is one lego minifigure and this is over a hundred and today i'm gonna make them build me a lego city from scratch the first thing i did was forcefully dump in a bunch of plastic people into the city a few moments later Bro, what is happening? Why is this guy mugging an old lady without me? Everything went to chaos because there was no rules and just a bunch of people. The city needed some actual structure, so I added a leader, Sensei Giga, who commanded the people to build a restaurant so that they wouldn't starve. So they started whipping up a noodle shop to serve some delicious nudes. Also, I was given the big boy cash to buy everything for the city by Genshin Impact, which is a sick open world adventure game, so some of the stuff I build in this video will be similar to counterparts in the game. Here's the noodle shop. On the first floor is the main restaurant area, there's a menu, seats, and some bus and food. Yeesh! Everyone looking hungry, they can't even move. You know what, just to torture them, I put the sumo wrestler first in line. Many months later. Oh my god, what are they all doing? This is like a Travis Scott concert. Everyone is crowding inside the restaurant and soon didn't have enough space to breathe. Guys, I promise, I'm not inside of there. It's okay. So I enslaved the minifigures to build a concrete pathway for a town square. And then on the side, they built a giant bonsai tree that was the capital and natural treasure of the city. The tree is similar to the city of Samuru in Genshin, which has this massive bonsai tree in the middle that has a bunch of shops and other places you can explore around it, and you can even go inside of it. Just like this guy, went inside the Lego tree and is now about to go to jail. Okay, let's check on the restaurant. It looks like a vegan's pulling up. Sheesh, the chef is hooking them up. Okay, after the figures were satisfied with nudes, they pulled up to the front and crowded around the new tree. Now they had a symbol of hope to make the city the best city possible, so they're gonna build a bunch of stuff that are even cooler. But before that could happen, I added a villain dressed in all black. I am here to conquer this city. Who is your leader? You can't step here. Get out. <laughs> Sheesh! They got straight up embarrassed in front of everyone. Um, I'm calling the manager. But the sensei took notice from the side and attacked the man before anything else could happen. He managed to fight him off, but before the man left, he sliced off a piece of the sacred bonsai tree. When I return tomorrow, everyone must surrender, or I will burn this place to the ground. The man left, and the sensei knew what he had to do. He about to build a dojo to train his remaining ninja to demolish the man once he returns and protect their people. But the rest of the people started building a park, because tonight, they about to throw a rager to celebrate the new town. The first thing they included was a big old pond with some koi fish that probably cost more than my house, and then they built this smexy looking statue of an ox, which if you touch its booty, it literally lights up. This fancy looking bridge with the sensei connecting to his ancestors, some exotic flowers in the water, and a bamboo forest. But while they were doing all that, Sensei Giga finished his massive dojo temple that's basically the city's police station. It's got a staircase made of rocks in the front that leads to two massive doors, and on the outside he made the ultimate gym for them to train. It's got punching bags, pull-up bars, an obstacle course, a dummy ninja, a weapon rack, and the most intense, rigorous workout machine ever, the T-Stand. Genshin also has buildings that look like this called the Ministry of Civil Rights, like this one in Inazuma City that manages their military. Alright, it's time. All the ninja pulled up, and they're gonna grind. Bro, the sensei still got that dog in him. Sensei, we got this huh let's go uh crap hurry up uh, 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 it's too it's too scared go ah. oh can't touch me can't touch me can't touch oh. bro let him cook oh no way he messed up bad the man in black definitely slid you a 20 all right on the other side it looks like they're building a sick chinese pavilion genshin also has a location that looks like this called the yujing terrace which is also a sick place to chill the people then start building a wall with the giant hole to enter in from which is what they're about to do on the count of three everyone's won the park three all right, everyone is stampeding in and throwing up lanterns to party. Let's see what they up to. This guy right here tried skipping spoons in the water. Ain't no way. Bro got bodied. Wait, what's he doing? Give me that. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. hey, that's my daughter's ice cream. Let's go. And then this guy added in a shroom to honor the best character in Genshin, the fungus, which are basically steroid mushrooms that come in a bunch of different types, the coolest of which is the absolute Giga Chat, the stretchy Geo fungus. But while they were doing that, it became evening, and Sensei Giga commanded the troops to go to the park and defend their people with their new training. But little did they know that the Sensei dipped on them. He knew that the ninja themselves weren't strong enough to fight the man, so he ventured far and wide to find the man's lair and fight him alone. The man in black lives in a big old castle with dungeons on the bottom and two giant lowly floors to plot his attacks. The design also looks like Genshin. Favonius Cathedral with the two towers in the front and that menacing look that they both have. But in the inside, Sensei Giga realized that the man in black had already left and all that he found was a note. Hello, Sensei. By the time you are reading this, you destroy your little ninja force. Hey, you're not getting past me! Uh. It's game over now. No, get away from him. If you come near my friends, my people, or my sensei, ah. you die. <laughs> no. 
I also have this entire castle lit on fire, and it will burn into you, just like your tree back home. No, no, no! As he was saying that, the entire castle started burning in on the sensei. Your nation is the first of many I will conquer. And that was the origin story of General Brickman. He has more in store. Once again, thank you to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. I seriously wouldn't be able to buy all this without them. So download the game and get hyped for the new 3.7 update. There's an awesome new tournament being added as well as a bunch of new characters. And my favorite part of the game just has to be the giant map that you can explore. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video. The school year is almost over for me. I hope it is for you guys as well. And yeah, subscribe for some crazy videos coming this summer.